today we're gonna do this reverse smoky eye. If you wanna see how I got this look, keep watching. We're gonna start off with my MAC Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in a damp beauty blender and place this all over my face. I like this foundation because it's completely full coverage and this look that we're going for today is a full coverage look. Concealer, we're gonna go in with our Tarte Sharp Tape and just start highlighting all the highlighted areas that I want. I'm gonna snatch up my nose because I'm going for full coverage beat down, okay? So, gotta make sure that nose is snatched up. Yes, girl. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set where I put the concealer. I'm also gonna put the translucent powder on my eyelids just to set where I put the foundation. I'm gonna, for my contour, I'm gonna use this NARS Melanin Contour Bronzer. This bronzer is bomb. It just snatches up my cheeks. It just be like sucked in, y'all. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Warm Neutral Palette, that brown shade, and start sweeping it into my crease. With MAC Brown Strip, start sweeping that into my crease as well just to give that a natural looking look. I'm then gonna use my ColourPop highlighter as a eyeshadow and place that on my eyelid. Just using my fingers, no precise way of doing it. I feel like using your fingers gets the job done a lot better. Then I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Double Take liner pen and I'm gonna use the eyeliner part and start smoking out my bottom lash line. Now, the trick to this look is that you have to do everything gradually. You don't start off with a big glob of black and then you just end up looking like a raccoon. Nobody wants to look like a raccoon. So take your time and just build this product up slowly. Nice and slow. I'm gonna go in with a small shade of brush from Morphe and diffuse that line out a little bit. Then I'm gonna set the line with a black eyeshadow from Urban Decay in black out and just use that same shade of brush and just start setting the eyeliner so the eyeliner doesn't go anywhere. You have to build this product up gradually as well. Then took the felt tip part of the liner and started creating a wing because it was just taking too long to smoke out the bottom lash. And then of course we have to clean up. So grab some concealer and just clean up that wing nice and seamlessly. You already know the deal. Take brown strip on a small brush and just start smoking out my bottom lash. And then I'm gonna take that NARS 
bronzer from earlier and start carving out my nose. My Laura Mercier translucent powder and just set that bronzer because I did get a little bronzer happy so I have to diffuse that line out a little bit and just dust that off with my Morphe brush so my nose looks nice and carved out. For lashes I'm gonna use this Ardell lash book and just place that on for highlighter I'm gonna use my Anastasia glow kit in sunbeam and just start Ooh, putting that glow on girl let me tell you when I was putting this glow on you guys oh my god ah! it was just out of this world I just couldn't stop I just kept going and going and going lately I've been into blush I've been wearing this Milani blush in red vino and it's just bomb. It's really subtle and I just love how it looks on my mascara and put some mascara on my bottom lash line. I then went in with white sand from the glow kit and placed that in my inner tear duct and just kept adding a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I got a little happy. For a lip, I'm gonna go in with this brown pencil called Downtown Beauty from NYX and then just start lining my lips. And for lipstick, I'm gonna use my Milani Bare Touch lipstick. This lipstick is perfect. It's like the perfect nude for a brown girl. It doesn't look ashy and you just look like, dang, okay, some nice, some light, okay. And then we're gonna go in on top of that with Sushi Kiss from MAC to just pop that nude out a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of gloss. This gloss is from Milani. It's Bare Secret, and this lip gloss is the bomb. Best drugstore lip gloss I've ever bought. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys love watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment bar below of what you think.